And of course, Moto3, again, this is barely a knee-jerk reaction because it happens every year. Moto3 is the king of international motorsport. Delivers every week, will continue to deliver every week. It is just the most exciting form of racing you could possibly come up with. I'm pretty sure we can all agree after one round, knee-jerk reaction or not, whatever, David Alonso is the best motorcycle rider in the world. He made a mistake on the penultimate lap there, I believe. He, he ended up back in sixth as they crossed the line. From there, I just remember thinking, if he wins this from here, no one's stopping him this season because you've got to have that knack. And some riders have it, some riders don't. You can be as quick as you want, but if you don't have that killer instinct in the last phase of the last lap of a Grand Prix, someone with it is going to beat you. And this kid has it. Olgado was good, controlled the whole race, pretty much rode exactly as he needed to, but didn't perhaps defend hard enough for that winning overtake from Alonso. Maybe thought he was going to have the pace to the line. I don't know. He did well, but the killer instinct wasn't there. But I do believe he will be in contention once again this season, like he was last season. If you can stop David Alonso, though, you deserve a, a medal because this kid's looking every bit world champion already and we did say these were knee-jerk reactions guys so he could go on and not win another race this season but you know is that really going to happen i don't think so tayo furisato the surprise of the day started about 18th i want to say and was just sensational he was really mixing he conceivably could have won the race had it all worked out a little bit different or if david alonso wasn't such a freak on the last lap yeah an absolute force and we hope that that continues because we like seeing good young japanese riders coming through good for him if you can sort his qualifying out and show a bit of one lap pace i mean it doesn't really matter in moto3 if you're in the lead group just make sure you latch onto the lead group and then you can then do your work from there and the race itself was like i said very good again you know we, we did see early on that group looked like a top six was going to get away i think it was everyone from olgado to maybe kelso had opened up a little gap i think it was from second place we had the instant rueda went down took someone out with him can't remember who it was on the outside there Ortola, who did brilliantly to come back tonight, uh, finish in the end well inside the points, inside the top 10, so brilliant by him. Raider went down, took Ortola with him, and that sort of split Olgado from whoever was in, well, going into second at the time, and then it brought whoever was like sort of seventh back up to the back of Kelso, and then that train caught Olgado in the end. We ended up with a big relief group of about 11 guys. We lost guys coming into the end of the race. It was always going to happen. It looked like something had to give in there, and it did, with certain riders going down. But yeah, it was a brilliant last lap. Good positive results there for, I mean, you're looking at Ricardo Rossi via Suzuki. Okay, Kelso. Jacob Rawlston on debut, 12th pl uh, 10th place. You know, obviously guys going down in front of him late in the race, but... Managed to pick himself up a top 10 on debut. Brilliant result. Uh, Pekeris, 12th on debut. Really good results there uh, for a few of those guys. I mean, mentioned Kelso there. If we did learn anything this week, Joel Kelso still cannot overtake. So I don't think he made one single on-track overtake for the whole race from what I was watching. <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> he just kept... Every time he looked like he was settled in position, someone would go past him and he just gets... The, he does that thing where he just gets shuffled to the back of the group and ended up losing touch with them at the end. But yeah, great race again. I mean, not much more to say. David Alonso is probably going to be your world champion. Mm -hmm.